Hi, Roy Huntington. Welcome to another First Look. Today, we're going to talk about an American gun company who is back. Colt. You know, I was so pleased to get a Python a little while ago, and I shot it, and it ran good, and I was really impressed with the quality and the workmanship, fit, finish. I mean, everything was just like old school Colt. Uh, like, you know, old guys like us, when you say Python, you know, we smile, and we think back to the 60s and early 70s when the Python ruled the roost. And then, of course, Colt had its ups and downs and bought and sold and kind of lost their mind and direction and everything. But they were bought by CZ not too long ago, and I can really see an influence there. I mean, things are really spot on and back in the groove. Now, the Colt we're looking at today is one I just got, and uh, it's their, they call it their King Cobra Target 22. I want to make sure I get that right. Uh, at $999, it's not a cheap gun, and I'll be honest with you, I doubt that you're going to see it uh, discounted, if at all. Uh, as a matter of fact, some people may ask a premium, because in typical Colt fashion, there's not a gazillion of them out there. So it's still kind of a premium, you know, limited edition kind of a gun. Uh, I'm very impressed with this. I've owned a Diamondback, which is the precursor to this, and they're like pythons, is, is that you say python and you can say Diamondback, and it's essentially the same thing. It's a, it's a mini-me python, and that's kind of what we have here. You know, it's kind of a cross between a trooper and a python and a Diamondback. Of course, all the snake guns are famous, you know, Cobras, Pythons, Diamondbacks. Uh, I, I've owned them all, or I have them now, and I enjoy them all. And uh, I think this just is another in, in the lineage of high quality Colt guns. And frankly, I'm really pleased to see them back like this. Well, some specifics here, they come in a four and six inch barrel, uh, fully adjustable sights. It's got a, a replaceable red or orange, you know, fiber optic sight. You can swap that out, it's real easy. And uh, you know, the only thing that I didn't like about it was it's got a little secondary lock on the rear sight. You need a teeny tiny Allen screw uh, to loosen that, which didn't come in the box. And so that's something you just have to keep in mind if you buy this gun. Colt, put a Allen wrench in the box, please. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. I think I said all stainless steel and uh, Hogue uh, over-molded grips, a typical Colt pullback cylinder release, but this is the surprise. 10 shots. You know, the action is just every bit as smooth, if not smoother than the best Python actions that I have ever felt. And I was surprised because I was anticipating, yeah, you know, kind of an okay, adequate, a little bit crunchy, maybe, you know, a little grindy double action. But no, this is absolutely like you sent this gun to the cylinder and slide shop and Bill Lockridge used his, you know, genius voodoo magic on it. And you get back this gun with this smooth, stageless double action let off that really enhances your ability to shoot this gun. You know, another thing I really like about this gun is the fact it's got a solid barrel. It's not like a hollow tube with a sh aluminum shroud over it. This is steel and it's all machined and it's beautifully done. I think that's one of the advantages of CNC machining is the fact that they can have such consistency and such tolerances. Uh, and then when you factor that in with a little bit of hand fitting as the gun goes together, you just get you know, really reliable consistency. And unlike the old days where they, each one was basically a custom made gun. So uh, thank you, Colt, for keeping up the effort on this. Okay, I've only put a cylinder or two through this gun just to zero it, uh, but, but just my casual shooting, uh, this is gonna be a keeper. I'm sorry, but <laughs> it's like, if you like 22 pistols, and who doesn't, uh, this is something you should aim for, as it were. And remember the old adage, you can't own too many 22s. Let's shoot this and see what happens. Okay, we're set up at about 15 yards. I've got 10 shots in this gun. <laughs> so I've got my uh, iPal eye thingy on so I can see what I'm doing. And that's a tactical targets uh, target, which I like because it's got a lot of targets on. You could shoot little targets or big targets. So let's shoot a big target though. All right.
Good Lord, I was getting tired of shooting. <laughs> I have no idea where it hit because I can't see the bullet holes. Let's go see. Okay, well, here you go. You know, it's the good and the bad and the ugly. Uh, like That was about the third cylinder full, he says, making excuses. Uh, and I think, though, from a rest, this is going to be an inch, inch and a half gun for sure. I'll do a lot more testing, and I'll probably do a follow-up video to this. So, all right, let's go wind this up. You know, after I shot up for that last uh, video segment, I thought, you know what, I know we can do better than this. And so I jumped over and sat at the bench for a second. And at 15 yards, uh, this is what I got. I lost my mind right there. And frankly, I think it'll do better than that. I mean, I just plopped down and shot, you know, 10 shots real fast. And uh, so I'm gonna push that out to 20 and 25 and see what it'll do. But you can see uh, I've adjusted the sight so it's well-centered. Uh, you know, that was the other group down here. And I was kind of wandering around a little bit because I'm old and I can't see anymore. But I think this paints a better picture. So if you're in the market for something like this, and if you're not, you should be, uh, Colt's new uh, Cobra 22 target model and uh, $999, Colt is back. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.